Hi, it's Dave with Regal Fabric Care here in the Boston area, cleaner of all soft furnishings. I'm with Isabel here today, and we're going to show you a project we're working on, right, Isabel? Yeah. That's cool. So, what we have here is a needlepoint Christmas tree skirt, custom made by Isabel's Grandma Judy. Yeah. And to preserve Grandma Judy's memory, um, we're going to try to restore this. What happened was it's in Isabel's aunt's home, and somebody spilled the water from the Christmas tree onto it. And you can see all this red bleeding. The red bleeding did not come from the wool fibers here that you see throughout. It came from this poorly chosen backing material. This red got wet when the water went through and bled up into this area. You can see all that red, Isabel? Yeah. Especially here at the edge. So what we're going to try to do is remove all this red color without harming any of the colors we want to preserve. So we've uh, taken apart most of this red backing. We cut the stitches. And when we do the work, we're going to be putting plastic between these two pieces and uh, using a combination of oxidizers and reducing agents to get rid of that foreign red matter without hurting the base colors. You can see a test area we did right there, which Isabel right there is pointing to. That beige color matches the, the primary backing and without harming the surrounding colors. So that was a test we did. Normally when you do a test like that, you would do it in a hidden area. But as you can see on this piece, slide this up Isabel so everybody can see how beautiful it is. You can, there is no hidden area here. So we had to test someplace. We picked that area. The test looks good. So we're going to go forward with it. We might end up taking the rest of this backing material off just in case some of the moisture comes over into this area. When we give this back to Isabel's aunt, who uses it every year, um, we're going to suggest that they have a new backing put on by somebody in their area who can then stitch it on that's either pre-washed or synthetic material that will not bleed. Part two of this video is going to show the results of the restoration of this needlepoint. If you have questions or comments, as always, leave them below. We look forward to hearing from you. Raiders? Yeah. And um, thank you for watching part two coming up. The red is gone. Uncle Dave saved today. Now I am enjoy Christmas with happiness under the tree. Well, Isabel. It seems, whoops, it seems you're pretty happy with the results of the red staining, right? Yeah, you're well, happy Superman. Too. You saved today. Well, we appreciate you saying that, sweetheart. And for the folks watching the video, what we've done, as we described in part one of this, um, this video, is we did remove the complete backing, that red backing that bled through. And what we're going to um, encourage Isabel's aunt... Shalina, who actually owns this, uh, that was made by her grandma Judy, is to iron it and press it and then send it out and have a new backing put on, probably a synthetic backing. If she chooses it to be red, it's either going to be dye stable, which means it won't bleed if it gets wet, because under a Christmas tree it probably will get wet some point, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, or pre-wash it and pre-shrink it. Wash it a few times, get all the red dye, so this cannot happen again. So you'll see, you'll see some slight yellowing that we decided maybe right around, you can see it right around this Christmas tree, right Isabel, right there, some little yellow. Yep. And we decided we were gonna back off on that because we didn't want to take a chance on harming these primary thread colors here. Um, there is some brown that bled on, on some somewhere over there, yeah, or maybe this person's head, or right here, there's a good example. That brown, which has red dye in it, bled just a tiny, tiny bit. But overall, we're happy once this gets pressed, a new backing, professionally put on, it should look fantastic, and um, Grandma Judy's, Judy's legacy will live on. If you have any questions or comment, please leave them below. We appreciate you watching, and don't forget, if you want to see more videos like this, please Hit that subscribe button, right, Isabel? Yeah. Because we love subscribers, right? Yeah. That's why we make these videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you, and hopefully your Christmas will be wonderful like ours.
Bye.